2017 snow spree event going on, and one of the events that everyone looks forward to is the polar bear dip. Nine brave participants took an icy dip into the Ottawa River at the Pembroke Marina in support of the Pembroke and Laurentian Valley Handy Bus. The crowd slowly grew, and once it started, one by one, each brave dipper got into the icy water, including Christine Reavy, a counselor with the city who raised over $1,600. Overall, nine participants were in the event and even a last minute entry the day before. So I went to Jana's Cafe and I saw the poster there and uh, unfortunately it was the last minute so I only had one day to prepare so I signed up the day of and uh, I figured it was for a great cause and I love polar bear dipping. Looking for a perfect hand. <laughs> Uh, we had a meeting about safety uh, regulations, who's going to be there, um, how it's going to happen. So once we get in the water, we go straight to the paramedics. They're going to give us a blanket and we'll dry off and get changed and you know, so on and so forth. Oh, I I'm always ready for another polar bear dip. I love it. I was like, heck yeah, one more. How, how was the water? Oh, it was blessed. It was excellent. Once all the pledges were tallied, $2,400 was raised for the handy bus. It's a fabulous day, uh, sunshine, uh, not too cold, uh, excellent day for polar bear dip, uh, raised a lot of money for a worthy cause. Nine jumpers and raised over $2,400, so we're ecstatic about this event. This is the fourth time that we've run the event, and every year we, we get a little bit uh, more wiser and uh, know what we're doing, uh, and uh, no, it went off seamlessly. The Handy Bus serves Laurentia Valley, Pembroke, Petawawa, Beechburg, and Westmeath with fully accessible door-to-door -door service for persons with disabilities. As part of Snow Spree, Hockey Spree was also going on, a three-on-three -three tournament to raise funds for the Elevate Youth Fitness Studio in downtown Pembroke. Yeah, so this is our second year doing downtown Hockey Spree, but we changed it up a bit this year, making it more of a competitive element. So last year, everyone just played two games and came out for fun. But the feedback we got was that they wanted it. If they're going to be out playing on the streets, they want it to be for something. So that's exactly what it is. Street hockey, three-on-three, -three, out on the streets of downtown Pembroke, and all for a chance to win the Hockey Spree Cup. It's been really good. So uh, the teams were guaranteed two games and then just with, so we ended up with six teams. So we were able to do a round robin where they get five. So they're loving that they get to play more hockey. And uh, you know, so it's quick 20 minute games and then they have a bit of a break and then they're right back out there playing again. So I think people are excited. You know, you have that little bit of competitive edge so they have fun with it, but they're still a little like going after it. So it's, it's fun. I like that it's, um, they seem to be having a good time. Hope you're able to make it out to some of the events during this year's Snow Spree festivities. Reporting for Kojiko TV News, I'm Trevor Riley.